Hello friends! I recently spent a weekend backpacking and I figured I'd share the trip with you. So welcome to a winter weekend at the Joshua Tree National Park. So that we could enjoy the Saturday morning already in the park, we had to backpack in at midnight on Friday. Yes, it does kind of suck to start at night this way and have to set up our tent in the dark, but it's really nice to be able to wake up the next day and be ready to enjoy as much sunlight as possible. Once we were up, which isn't hard because the sun heats up the tent so quickly that by 7.30 you are automatically awake, we set forth on a hike to explore an area we've been wanting to check out for a while. What really struck me with this area is that golden quality of the grass. It was really beautiful. I love the weird plants in Joshua Tree. Some of them look like alien species. The red ones remind me of sea urchins. Side note, if you're wondering who that is hiking with me, it's my husband, Jonathan. He's been backpacking practically all of his life and he has taught me so much about the outdoors. After hiking over the first couple of hills, we walked down to the steep wash that cut through and found a spot where we could have lunch and I could do some painting. To start painting, I first sketch out a general shape of the landscape with a ballpoint pen. The supplies I'm using are the same ones featured in my minimalist art kit video. These are supplies I've had to carefully pick out for backpacking because of the need to consider weight, importance, and durability. So if you're curious to know what exactly I'm using to sketch and paint out here, I've linked the video in the description. Using a brush pen, I wet the paper so I can drop a wash of color. Putting down an initial wash could be a lot easier if I had a larger brush, but I've only got one brush size to work with, so it takes a little bit longer to cover the large area, and not a lot of time since these are watercolors. There were a lot of thorny bushes against these masses of rock that I needed to paint, but the shadow of one cliffside colored everything in a blanket of purple, so I knew I had to have an underlayer of that purple. It's because of these trips that I come to appreciate the desert and its incredible variants of color. Seeing it transform from morning to night is eye-opening, and as a painter, I've noticed my sensitivity to perceiving color in subdued areas getting a lot better. The desert is not brown. It can be purple, red, golden, and even green. Light is constantly changing the colors over my scene, so I have to be so fast that I can't actually think about whether I should render this bottom rock more, and with the afternoon light settling down, the blue shades are becoming more and more vivid. I enjoy these plein air painting exercises as they take the pressure off of making a good piece. Yes, I know good is a highly subjective term, but I'm sure you know what I mean. Out here in the backcountry, where there isn't a human soul for so many miles around, I forget to focus on making something good. I forget about putting pressure on myself to continue to improve my skills. I simply enjoy the process of connecting with the land. And with soup in our bellies, Jonathan challenged me to a pebble toss, of which I can never decline. Neither of us managed to toss a pebble into the designated spot he picked out, but he did get really close, so I guess he won and we decided to head back to our campsite before it got dark. I had not backpacked in over six months, so I was very rusty this time around. I forgot so many things to pack, including sunglasses and a hat. I never wear those things in normal life, so of course I made sure to forget them in the outdoors life. Jeez. It didn't get in the way, however, of enjoying the view of these amazing golden hills. And of course, it's not a Joshua Tree trip without bringing back balloon trash. This one said happy birthday. <laughs> we made it back with about an hour left of real daylight to hang out, so Jonathan showed me a cocktail trick and I got some doodling done.
The next morning, we packed up our things and made our way back out of the park. We like taking a brief pause at this little ridge to look out over the park and to talk about where we should explore at our next trip. It's also the last moment for me to gather my senses to tackle the flat expanse we are about to hike through. brace myself for this part of the hike where it's like really flat and just desert and I'm not sure why because hiking over boulders is just an arc Well, that's the end of our short backpacking trip in Joshua Tree. I hope you found the vlog interesting or even inspiring if you're considering venturing out into the wild as an artist. I guess this is where I should say don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching!